what's up guys in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this cool text dissolve effect you can use in your music videos i've once used this effect before on a video i did about a year ago and as you see on the screen it's a pretty clean looking effect and i'll be teaching you how to create it leave a like subscribe for more tutorials and let's get right into this video now that we're in our composition all we want to do right now is add a text layer let me just type something like tutorial make sure everything is centered and aligned after you have your text here now what you want to do is make a duplicate layer so the first First layer is the layer that we'll apply our effects on now what you want to do is effects and presets type cc composite and we're going to click and drag that for the first layer now what we're going to do is type cc particle system so this is a free plugin well not even a plugin this comes default with after effects so you don't need particular so now what we're going to do we're going to open the producer the physics and the particle now as you see this is the default i want you to follow along and we'll get through this easy the birth rate you want to put to 50 or you can also play around with it after you see what it is. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add a keyframe. So now the longevity, we're gonna change that from two to four. Now we're gonna add a keyframe on position and we're gonna make sure this position is all the way on the left side of your composition. We're gonna go about seconds in and bring it to right side of our composition. Now what we're gonna do is for the physics, we're gonna change the velocity from 1.0 to 0.5. We're going to change the inherent velocity to 20. We're also going to change the gravity to negative 0.3. Now, for the gravity, negative means it'll go upwards and positive value means it'll go down. So if you want the particle to go down, then you keep it on the positive side. We're going to keep it going up because that's what I did in the video. Therefore, it'll be negative. Now, we're going to change the resistance to 20 and we're also going to change the animation to direction. Now what we're going to do is check this box source alpha. We're also going to change this max opacity to 30. And now we get to change the colors. Let's just make it red or actually it's double. So let's do dark red. And now if we hit U, we'll see the keyframe is very noticeable here. And this is where it'll end. Now for the bottom text layer, we're going to add linear wipe, which is a transition effect. Now we're going to keep this default, hit the clock on the transition completion. And now we're going to go to the end keyframe and put that all the way up to 100. Bump up that feather to about 35. Also, one last thing that I did forget, back in the particle systems, we're also gonna change our radius to about 15, and this is how it comes out. As you see, very clean, but it is slow because it is four seconds. In the clip, I think I did about a second, maybe two seconds. Um, that's why it looked so fast. We can also just also change with the keyframes. And now here, the speed has been a little bit faster. Now the dust dissolves a little bit faster because we raised the keyframes up closer. So from four seconds to two seconds, and this is how it looks. Now we can also mess around with more particle types. We can change it to stars. We can change it to cubes, but it does look a lot more hectic. As you can see, this looks like smoke and obviously you can do what you will try to make this, you know, look a little different if you turn down the birth rate you'll get stuff like this looks a lot cooler but yeah this is basically how you do the text dissolve effect pretty quick and simple obviously i did a lot more tracking and effects on it but that's not the tutorial I'm just teaching you how to do it overall but if you guys did find this helpful and you will use this in future videos please drop a like on this video subscribe if you're new and comment down below what you want to see next yes i am back i'm just trying to figure out what i want to upload for you guys because i don't want to upload saturated effects that you guys already know I want to come up with nice, unique, original things. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.